the virtual environment contains a welding simulation for shielded metal arc welding. Next I will show you how to use that simulation. Start by adjusting the height of the work table by left clicking with the mouse at the location shown in the video. You can lower the table by pressing the shift button on the keyboard while left clicking at the same location in the virtual environment you can rotate the table counterclockwise by left clicking with the mouse on the location shown in the video. You can rotate the table clockwise by pressing the shift button on the keyboard while left clicking at the same location in the virtual environment. You can set the amperage to the required level for the type of weld you wish to perform by left clicking using the mouse on the large and small knobs of the amp box to get the required amp setting. Notice that the current amp value is also shown in the welding display. You can move the electrode closer to the workpiece by pressing the one button on the keyboard and moving with the mouse. Once the electrode is close to the workpiece, then an arc will be struck between the electrode and the workpiece. You can rotate the electrode by pressing the 1 and the spacebar buttons on the keyboard simultaneously and moving the mouse. Notice how the pitch and yaw angles changes on the display as the electrode is rotated. You can adjust the arc length by pressing the one button on the keyboard and rotating the mouse wheel. Once the electrode is close enough to the workpiece, an arc will be established. To turn the welding booth display on or off, select that command from the command list. Alternatively, you can just speak the command into your microphone and then say execute. Or you can type the command into the box that is on top of the media window or the box on top of the agent options window. Going to the welding booth. Going to the amp control box. Going to the welding gun. Going to the welding booth table front view.